Have you ever noticed all the artwork around the city? Different sculptures around town, even paintings in an office building or a hospital. Chances are that artwork came from ADC Fine Art, a gallery that is also a consulting firm, and it's located in the West End. Pete Scalia takes us inside their unique gallery space to show us how they're combining Cincinnati's history with fine art. Hi, Lisa. Hello, come on in. Hi, everybody. This Hello. Is so this is Cassandra, our gallery director. Hi. Welcome to the gallery. What is ADC Fine Art? So ADC Fine Art is um, an art gallery here on the West End, as well as an art consulting firm. That's one of our specialties, and that's why people come to us, is we have such an amazing variety of art, from paintings to sculpture, glass, uh, wood. We've got so many incredible things here that you will not see anywhere else. Everywhere you turn, you see something really interesting and very unique. You specifically focus on artists who are still alive. Yes, that is our mission. We support artists that are living artists, that are working, that are supporting their families. This one in particular, Mary Bar Rhodes, is here in Cincinnati. One of her specialties is using um, crushed up glass. And this is one of her sculptures that she's created with glass and resin. So they're pretty cool. One of our artists, uh, he creates unique, one-of-kind works made out of computer keys. And what he does is he assembles the keys in a way to create one entire image. This one in particular is of the world. If you look closely, you see all the individual keys are about 8,000 in this particular piece. And um, as you back away, you can see the whole thing come together in its entirety. Tell me a little bit about the space itself, because I know the building is of historic significance also in Cincinnati. It is, this is the coolest building. I love it here. Um, it used to be a popcorn factory. Old Metal was here for 67 years making popcorn machines. So all of our floors are original to the building. There are a lot of historic features throughout. Uh, so there's so many wonderful things about this space. And when you take something historic and you add contemporary art and by living artists, it makes it even more special. These in particular, these two chandeliers came from the Millennium Hotel before it was demoed and we were invited to the liquidation sale and we fell in love with these. They were in the grand ballroom of the Millennium Hotel. Just think of how many people danced their first dance under these chandeliers. They're really, really special. Probably the most historically significant thing at ADC is the door to the gallery. Obviously, it's the first thing you notice. It's pretty incredible. It is the coolest door. It has so much significance in Cincinnati. This door belonged to the very first African-American mayor, Theodore Berry, and it was in his home in North Avondale. And what makes it even more spectacular is that he was very much into civil rights and he invited Martin Luther King Jr. to his home and he walked through this door at the age of 29. It's pretty awesome. We love this door. People think that art is always expensive and you can't, the normal person can't buy it, but we have things here that are very reasonable to, of course, pieces for collectors. So really, it depends on what you want. And I know that you also host events here as well. Yes, we love to throw parties. We have a full kitchen and lots of space. It's 13,000 square feet. So we have a lot of room here to throw um, a small dinner party if someone wants to do something for their team um, to a large event. Um, so there's lots of room. Aside from all the incredible art at ADC, my favorite thing was stepping into the cube. Check this out, a 20 by 20 immersive art experience. The installation changes every few months. It's a way for the community to step in and experience firsthand the healing and transformative power of art. So cool. <laughs> All right, we are going to now take a deeper dive with Pete live. Mm -hmm. So Pete, I gotta ask you, how did you find out about this place and what drew you to this story? So I had actually uh, met Lisa 
previously at some events years ago in Cincinnati when she was in a different location. And uh, it was exciting when she found the former gold medal uh, factory there in the West End, a building that, I mean, if you saw the before pictures, they definitely had their work cut out for them. Um, but as she mentioned, it, it just seemed really appealing to me that she was taking Cincinnati history and then combining that with all the fine art you see there. And uh, ADC Fine Art and Consulting, uh, it's actually a family affair. Her sister works in the business with her as one of the people who works as a curator. So if you see some of the, the paintings and things around town and like hospitals and office buildings, things like that, chances are ADC had a hand in placing that fine art throughout our city. So I just thought it was a fascinating place. And that door alone that you're seeing now on your screen, what an incredible story. The fact that Martin Luther King Jr. walked through that very door and now it is showcased there, even though the house is long gone, that door will live on at ADC uh, from here on out. Very cool. I was really drawn by the orange couch. I, that, was, <laughs> that was my favorite piece that I saw. Did you have a favorite that you, as you were walking through? Um, I have to say, you, you saw that brief little shot they had of that furry buffalo head. I don't know what it was about yes. that thing. Maybe it's just because it was so different and unique and you can kind of tossle its fur a little bit and everything. There, there were just so many unique pieces there, uh, as Lisa mentioned, from you know glass to sculpture. Um, and, and actually, I mean, when you're talking about that orange couch, Mona, they, they actually specialize in whatever space you have, whether it's commercial or in your home, they can help you find pieces that sort of tie the whole room together. So it's a really cool business. So it's not just the public thing, it's, it's also mm -hmm. your personal space as well. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, if you are maybe redecorating your home and you want to bring in some fine art, and as she mentioned, they have uh, art doesn't have to be. A lot of people think that fine art is sort of an only high society sort of thing, but they have pieces really that just about anyone can afford. And that's what they really want to do is sort of make art available to everyone in greater Cincinnati. All right. And very quickly, how can people connect with the ADC Art Gallery? Uh, you can check out their website. It's adcfineart.com. And uh, if you get a chance, just check out the gallery. A lot of really great art. Many of uh, those artists right here in Cincinnati. All right, Pete. Great job with that story. We appreciate you turning it for us. If you at home stick around. We'll be right back.